Hello, Michael. Welcome to Knights Templar School. Good it's to great be, to see you, Michael. Yeah, good to see you, Headmaster. At the end of this building is the food technology department, and that's where you'll be based today. Yeah, and I believe we're serving lunch in the library for the governors. You and the year 11 students will be cooking Absol the lunch. Absolutely, for us. the students will be fully involved in cooking with me. Yeah, do the pastry in one batch, but do the frangipan in two batches, okay. I think. Is that right? Risotto's here as well. They've got two things, but they're three of them. Michael sent me a list of menus, and then I went shopping yesterday afternoon, and then we had to come back, and Jill and I spent a long time sorting out the trays and getting them made up according to the recipes. But it's little things like the flowers, you've got to remember the flowers and uh, checking that all the governors have been invited <laughs> and bits and pieces like that. You've got the menu written up on the board. Yep, which and is good. who's cooking what. I just sort of kind of went along the spring Mediterranean route, which is, you know, the cuisine I love to cook anyway. And if I love to cook it, then that will enthuse the children and they'll want to cook it as well. Okay. My rosemary's not quite good enough in the garden yet. Mmm, smells lovely. And that's a cheap and cheerful balsamic, is that okay? That's from Medina, so it can't be bad. Oh, I read that, so, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, it's the only thing, I've got chicken stock. Because yeah. we don't have any vegetarians yeah. today, so then it's suitable for everybody. I see we've got the service dishes laid out. This is a lovely dish, isn't it? It's going to look I've got great. Two pavlovas because I thought one would be a bit mean. No, so two is absolutely yes. fine. And the shape of the dish is yes, wonderful, so yeah. that's going to look great on the uh, on the buffet. Right. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, morning chef. chef. Right, today we're obviously cooking lunch for the governors and the headmaster. You're here because you're all budding chefs. I've heard from your teacher that you all do an excellent job in the kitchen. Now, I've written the menu on the board. So it's going to be the grilled vegetables, the poached salmon. I'm going to cut the salmon, the spicy lamb samosas, a pavlova. Who's doing the pavlova? Me. You. Have you got your recipe? Yep, I've got it all set out over there. Right. You've all got worksheets in front of you. So if you start working from there, get your ingredients together and then we will come round and support you, help you and do anything you're not sure of. One of you, Kim, chop the onion, mushrooms, just take the bottom of the stalks off and wipe them with a damp cloth and then slice them here. Yeah. Right, lovely. Okay. Lovely. And then... We're just going to season it, we're going to fry it in a frying pan, put it on a tray and put it in the oven. Um, we're doing salmon, salmon with asparagus and cucumber. And that's going to be a starter. I'm just cooking the asparagus for a minute and then we're just waiting for some orders from Chef. I'm spreading out the meringue so that when it's cooked it will make like an oblong shape, meaning that I can spread on the filling and then roll it. I'm not really worried about the top like appearance of the meringue because when it's rolled it will come out like a nice even which is texture. So this is gonna have double cream and strawberries with it when it's rolled. Roll along the top. So you see that, we just come underneath. It looks good, it's nice and pink, isn't it? Just take a little bit of butter and butter the tray. That should be enough. And you just you want to lay those in? Yeah. Then we put these aromats in. Put, put them on. Then we're just going to put some lemon juice on. bit more. Make sure you don't put any pips in there. I think it's going well. They all seem to be on task and they've picked up a lot of hints, I think, on uh, how to do things a professional way. It's interesting that he's saying, you know, do it all very fast at the beginning and then you can slow down at the end. Where in lessons, sometimes they think they've got all this time and they dawdle around and then it's a mad panic at the end. So he's 
got them doing it the other way around. Got them really getting on first. How are you looking? Put some uh, chilli powder in there. How much? OK. Have you put any in yet? No, no, yet. I'm not sure. Yeah. Do you want it to have a kick, yeah? And we're going to serve sour cream with it, so it's going to be spicy, and then the sour cream will cool down your mouth. Do you like spicy food? I love spicy food. Do you like spicy food? I love spicy food. All right. Fantastic. Right, guys, we've got one hour to go. Yeah? As far as I can make out, we're well on the way. Make a pot of stock up here. Okay. On here? Yeah. Right, is that hot now? Dry. Right. Just a bit. Can you move your stock now, please? Because you've got two workshops. I've got one and then store it Here we go. Okay, fine. In the corner, yeah? Hold it over, like that. that. Last bit, over again. And then, brush it with oil, and then we're going to put them in the oven, yeah? Yeah, it's quite a small one, yeah. Yeah, so you want eight small, 16 small ones, and then slice the rest. OK. Right. How's my samosas? Good, Chef. We've got a lot of dishes going on and they all need a lot of attention at the end. And the, the chef's managing to whiz around all of them and uh, he seems to be everywhere, which is great. Yeah. Don't keep stirring it. The more you stir it, the rice releases the starch and it thickens it. I said, don't keep stirring it. The more... <laughs> OK, right. Add some parmesan. I want some more stock. It's getting to the stage now where we should be getting ready to plate up and they're still working, so I'm just hoping it's going to be on time. So it's a bit of a last minute rush at the moment. So. Pretty impressive, doesn't it? <laughs> Looks fabulous, yeah. Really pleased with them. And they're dumbly proud. Jordan, down it goes. So the starters are down. We've just got the samosas to come. They're the last starters. And then the others are going on the hot plate. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just trying to get him the well, yeah. 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 Right, well, that's a pretty broad range of things, isn't it? I got a letter from my dad and it said, Dear Mr. Picker. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got one of our pupils here who's going to read the menu to you. And then after she's read the menu, I'm going to ask you and I'll explain how the, the lunch is going to work. So, Sam, um, no pressure, sorry. <laughs> um, we have a grilled Provencal vegetables with couscous and balsamic vinegar. And we have spicy lamb samosas with sour cream dip. Poached Scottish salmon with asparagus and cucumber. And then chicken breast wrapped in parma ham stuffed with mozzarella with a tomato and leek sauce. Served with new sauté potatoes and spinach. Mushroom risotto with peas and green beans, and then a rolled pavlova with fresh strawberries, apple flans with almond and cream, and then coffee and biscotti biscuits. So what happens after year 11 with the food technology here then? Most of, most of our symbols were gone to university. And they see subjects like maths or French oh, right. or chemistry as being a better passport to a university degree course than, than doing a um, post-16 course in food. Mm. It's interesting to see that we kind of have that perception that something practical is not academically worthy enough of 
putting alongside your other A-levels to go off to university with. Just want to say, you're not going yet, but you did a fantastic job today. Well done. <laughs> the good thing about doing a lesson like we did today is they actually see the guest's reaction. They get feedback from the guest who was saying how wonderful it looked, how good it tasted. They worked very much as a team and they sort of did a whole range of activities. So it wasn't just one activity in the classroom. There was like 10 or 12 activities going on. And I, I was very proud and very pleased with what they did. It gives you a focal point, And if you can sit down with your family or with your friends and sit down at a table, food is so important. And I want to get that message across to the young people that food, you know, and cooking is a life skill, but food as well is going to be a huge part of their lives. The whole social event of eating. The whole social food. event mm -hmm. and really eating healthily. Yeah. It's just so important. Often, if um, children are surrounded by their peers and trying different dishes, they'll try things that they wouldn't otherwise eat at home. Oh, they say, I don't like that, mm -hmm. and they won't even touch it. Whereas if they see their friends eating it, they may well try that, and it will open up their um, sort of. Do you agree with that? Taste. Do you feel in the classroom you, you're more willing to try different things? Yeah. 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 I'm glad you said that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We've been practising that one all morning. I did enjoy it and I was a little bit apprehensive because you know top chefs, on, you see them on the television and they're sort of a bit prima donna-ish sometimes, but he wasn't at all like that. He was very down to earth, he was very easy to work with, he made me feel very comfortable, he made the children feel really comfortable. So I think it was a good experience for them and, and for me as well. <laughs> they think yeah. like, that it's all easy, just practical, no theory or anything like that. And like, because I play in a rugby team, I get quite a lot of stick for it because it's a bit of a difference, like cooking and playing rugby, so. I think, yeah, I think they think it's a DOS lesson and they think for the theory side of it isn't as hard as it actually is. Like, Can we go like that? Whoa. I'm really hungry. <laughs> Can you, like, socialise with people more than you would, like, in some other lessons? It's different people than what you'd normally hang around with. Yeah. yeah. Like, you get to sort of merge with other people that you've never really hang around with on the school field. Well, I've actually had a, quite a long chat with Pat today and she does tell me she's going to do another year. <laughs> but um, I don't know about the year after that. Well, I'm due to retire. I should have retired a year ago. I've already committed to another year here. Uh, there's a shortage of qualified teachers and uh, I don't want to leave the school or the pupils in the lurch, really. But while I'm enjoying it, I've, I'm still doing it. But it won't go on forever. <laughs> We've got to train more food technology teachers and we've got to make sure that they're recognised within the school as a vital member of the teaching team.